Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial. In this session, we are going to see how to create tags. How do you use tags during test execution? How can you use tags in reports? And how can we create dynamic tags? And we will also look at how can we set tags from command line. So we are going to go very basic step by step in this session. And by the end of this session, you will know all about tags in Robot Framework. So let's get started and let me open my write id so i will go to my command line and i will say write.py and this opens the write id and this is the test suite and the project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions so let me just create a new test case and let me name it as test4 and say ok now uh, let me create a very simple test case so what I'm going to do is I will say log to console and I pressed control plus spacebar on my keyboard so that I can get this option I can just select this so this will just write something on the console whatever I put here so I am saying uh, test for started and let me also add a selenium keyword so I'm saying open browser and it should go to the URL HTTP google.com and I want to use a Chrome browser here and let me just close all browsers and again log to console test for completed okay so this is a very simple test case that I have created now what I'm going to do is I will go to these settings so I click on the settings here and you can see we have an option for tags here okay so here we can add our tags and before I add a tag let us uh, see tags are useful to classify categorize test cases so tags are basically free text that you can give to your test cases or test suite which can be used during test execution reports and then basically used to categorize and classify the test cases so now let us go back and i will click on this edit button and add a new tag so you can add any tags or you can give any name so here i am giving test 4 and also if you want to give multiple tags you can separate by pipe symbol and then say something else so tag test 4 and sanity will be two tags which will be given to this test case so let me give test 4 as of now and say ok uh, let me just do it again yeah so now we have got this tag test 4 for this particular test case now the very first thing that we can do is we can use the tags for text execution so for example here if I go to the run section you can see we have this section only run tests with these tags and you can give the tag name also you have a section skip tests with these tags and you can give the tag names here so that is very handy because now I do not want to run all the test cases in my test suite I only want to run the test with tag test 4 so I will give it here and then I will say start so this should only run my test 4 so let us see it goes to the browser however it is going to some earlier test so let us see what is the issue and now it goes to our test case yeah it goes to browser goes to Google and then it should close it and yes so it closed it right so it uh, also added this into the console test 4 started test 4 completed okay however it ran something else before starting our test case and that is because at test suite level we have some uh, setup or tear down so let me just go to test suite level and let us see what is the setup and tear down do we have here and yes in our earlier session we created a suite setup which is go to home page and go to home page opens the browser where that is this particular orange hrm website so i am going to remove this from here so that it does not run every time 
I say OK and now if I run my test it should only run test 4. Let us also go to the report and you can see in the report you will find a section statistics by tag and here you will see your tags and the statistics the total number of test cases with this tag the pass count and the fail count so this becomes very handy during your uh, analysis of the reports you have this section here as well tags if you click here you can actually select the tags you get a drop down from where you can select the tag and then you will get all the statistics for that particular tag similarly if you go to the log file you again have this statistics by tag and then if you expand your test suite and test case you will see all the information so test 4 was the tag associated with this particular test case okay so this is how you use test during execution and then reporting also let me just show you in case uh, let us say you have more than one test with the same tag so if I go here and I say this is I gave a name sanity tag to this test case and let me also create a new test by the name test 5 and say ok and here again in the tags I say test 5 and I also say this is also a sanity test and let me just give some keyword here in fact I will give some wrong keyword so instead of saying log to console I will make some mistake here so that it should fail so I am giving some spelling mistake in the keyword and let us see what happens so this should fail and eventually it should create a report so see what we have done in test 4 we have tag as sanity and in test 5 we have tag as test 5 and sanity okay and now what I am doing is I will go to run and in fact let me just have sanity in both so I do not want this and now in the run section I will say run test only with the tag sanity and I will say start so it should run the test 4 which goes to the browser goes to google.com and then closes the browser and then test 5 which should eventually fail so yes you can see we have got a failure if you go to the report now now you can see statistics by tags sanity tag there are total two one is pass and one is fail okay and you can see the graph here as well similarly you can select the tag here and you can see the statistics here and the same thing you can find in the logs as well okay so this becomes very handy when you want to analyze the reports so basically normally we uh, give tags like sanity smoke regression critical or any other tag as per your application or your need so it will be very handy for you so you can categorize your test cases based on tags and then also view the reports based on these tags so this we have learned how to use tags now we will see how to create dynamic tags so let me go back to my IDE and here in test 4 what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a keyword set tags okay and here I can set any tag so I can say this is smoke test or let me say smoke test okay so now let me go back and run it again so this should run uh, my test number four and then test five because we have given sanity to both and yes it's done now if I go to report and you can see we have got this new tag here which is smoke test which was not earlier present and 
same thing if you uh, go to tax I can see this is present here as well okay so this is how you can give dynamic tags during runtime to your test cases you can also remove tags dynamically during runtime and so I say remove tag smoke test so now if I run it again let us see now we should not get the smoke test tag in our report let us verify that so it is done let us go to the report and you can see now we do not have the tag smoke test so we have removed it dynamically okay so this is how you can create or remove tags dynamically during runtime also other thing is uh, how do you set text from command line so this is one of the useful tips command line option is set tag and if you want to run your robot test cases from command line you have to do two step step one is go to command line and change directory to your robot framework project so my robot framework is here uh, yeah yeah this is my robot framework okay so I will copy this location go to command line and change to this directory okay and then the syntax is robot and then you have to say the option minus T for running a particular test case and the test case name for so for example I want to run test 4 and then the suite name so for example minus test suite dot txt okay so if I run this let me just go to command prompt and say robot minus T test 4 and then test suite dot txt this is my test suite file and I say enter so it is saying test 4 started and you can see it starts my test number 4 and then completes it and everything is passed now if I want to set some tag here what I will do is I will say robot minus t test 4 and then I will say double hyphen or dash dash set tag equals to I want to say this is uh, let's say regression okay so I'm saying set tag regression and I will just run it again so it starts test number 4 goes to the browser goes to google.com and it should now close it and yes and let us wait for the report everything is passed and we have got our logs and report here let me just copy this location and go to my browser and see the report and you can see we have got this tag regression here that we created through command line and the same thing if you go to tags we get the tag regression in the drop down as well so this is how you use tags in robot framework so today we learned how do we create use and define tags in robot framework i hope this session was useful for you i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching